Hey YouTubers, what's going on everyone? Enjoy your Thanksgiving break, spend some time with the family, eat some turkey, gravy, corn, mashed potato stuffing, pumpkin pie, all that good stuff. Yeah, mine was pretty good. It got me thinking though. Uh, I remember back in like third, fourth, might have even fifth grade, I forget. My school had like this this play pageant thing where they dressed up the kids as uh, pilgrims and Indians. And uh, they had to sing songs about, you know, how the pilgrims and Indians, you know, got along and how, you know, we, we reenacted like the Last Supper, whatever the hell it was they did and like, how the Indians taught, you know, the, the pilgrims to grow corn, and the pilgrims uh, killed and raped and the Indians and took their scalps and wore them as trophies. And, you know, but I digress. That's not why I'm here. Um, the other day, I was hanging out at my neighbor's house, catching up on, you know, things, because, you know, we've been away at college and back home. And she told me something that I found very startling. I was actually at a loss for words for a moment. Now, I'm not sure... Uh, if this has spread all across America, or if it just takes place in my gay-ass town, or if it's, you know, somewhere else, I don't know. But she told me that, uh, we were talking about, like, baseball, and, like, how we used to play, like, rec league baseball. And we were talking about how, like, you know, we got on the, the subject of how, you know, growing up now is a little bit different than when we grew up. Much like our parents, you know, talk about how it was different for them when they grew up. And we were talking about how America is raising a generation of pussies, and let me tell you why. Because right now, in Rec League Baseball, in some, in God knows where, I'm not sure exactly where it is, uh, there are no more playoffs. Because that means a team has to lose, and those kids can't play anymore. And their hearts just can't take it. I also heard that, um, she was, she was telling me that kids, uh, they just pitch to the kids until they hit. There's like, you know, and everyone just, everyone gets to bat, and everyone gets to, you know, and then, then the inning's over. And that's fucking bullshit. This is America, people. I mean, all the way from, like, the mid-40s to, like, late 1970s. I don't know the exact dates of the Cold War. But we fought against the Red Scare. You know, the, the communists. And the commies over in Russia, everyone everyone works for the government. And no one can can, can uh, build their way up on the social level. And everyone just, you know, works for the same thing. And that's boring. And it's wrong. And in America, it's capitalist, and there's winners and losers, and there's competition, and you can start with nothing, dirt poor, and you can become a millionaire. And that's fantastic. That's the American dream. And I'm not really sure which system works better, because lately America and the, the corporations and the gap between the rich and but either way, uh, you know, if someone wins, someone's gotta lose. Okay? And what's more American than baseball? And we're taking that lesson away from these kids. I learned at a very young age that I suck at sports, okay? And the playoffs taught me this because my team never made it past two games. Mostly my fault. But I've learned to live with that. I've learned to lose. Thank you, baseball. Thank you, playoffs. Thank you, competition. I've learned to better myself. And what's going to happen when these kids want to go out into the real world? Into the real world. And their parents are kicking them out because they've been living in the basement because they're afraid of the real world. And they're going to go out there and it's going to be a goddamn wake-up call. Wake-up call. Wake up! Wake up right now. Bring the playoffs back to the rec leagues. Whatever god-awful town has been doing this, probably mine, Twinsburg, Ohio. Let these kids know what it's like to feel the burning in their heart when they disappointed daddy. And they can't hit the ball that the coach is underhand pitching to them and they trip on the way to first base and then they get a bloody nose and they cry and they got a scar on their knee. It's still there. And, but anyway, taking away the playoffs in baseball, everyone wins. No, everyone doesn't win. You got to teach kids at an early age that they suck so they work harder. Not everyone wins in life. It's not how it works. But that's, that's all I'm gonna say. I gotta, I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna go to Chipotle. It's more American than uh, Mexican food nowadays. Especially when it's owned by McDonald's. It's more American than McDonald's. Obesity. It's more American than that. Being fat. 